Hi, it's Monica from Run, Eat, Repeat, and I'm sharing what I eat in a day. I've been getting a lot of questions on what I eat in a typical day while I am training for a half marathon or full marathon and what I eat when I'm not training. Right now, I think this falls under not really training. I am running five days a week. I am ramping up my mileage, but I wouldn't consider this training mode. And I woke up very early, so I want to catch you up on the first eats and drinks of today. I start off my day with water. I keep my water bottle nearby. This is a 48 ounce Nalgene. I'm not here to mess around. And I might have added a little bit of water to it. Sometimes I just like fill it up. I don't really track my water, especially in the winter. Um, I just pay attention to thirst and try to finish it off at some point. Have water nearby and I make coffee first things first. I make hot coffee, I sip it a little bit until it starts to cool off and then I pour it over ice and Diego's coming in with the toys. So we have some guests, some special guests today. And I add amino, these amino energies. Um, I think this really tastes good. That's the main reason why I do this because I feel like, I think I did it at some point when I was traveling for a race and it was just the easiest way to sweeten my coffee. But it has a lot of ingredients. So you've been warned. I don't want to live forever though. I don't want to be the last one hanging out. Everyone's dead and it's just me. So I try not to be too healthy. That's what I tell myself. But in healthier efforts, I have been putting collagen in my coffee after a run. So if I know I am multitasking, I don't have time to eat right away within that kind of half an hour window after a run, I make another iced coffee and put collagen in it. I shake it up in my shaker cup and I feel like it mixes well. I feel like both of these mix well, super easy. I found these avocado, these straws are crazy. Um, they're made from avocado pits and basically like similar to a paper straw, but sturdier. And I got them from Ralph's manager special, 99 cents. This is amazing. I kind of need some because I am traveling a lot and in a transitional period, I just have misplaced a lot of my reusable silicone straws and misplaced the thing to clean it. So this is just what works for me right now. Before my run, along with the iced coffee, if I'm running more than eight miles or I'm hungry, just I'm hungry, even if it's not a run day or whatever, I will usually have toast with almond butter or a banana or dry cereal that I snack on while I am getting ready, waiting for the sun to come up so I can go run. I wait until the sun is up because I'm afraid of the dark and I just think it's safer. So I will snack on cereal, dry cereal, or like I said, toast or a banana before a run along with the iced coffee as I'm scrolling through my phone, catching up on Instagram and all of that. I did seven and a half miles today and I am now going to make breakfast. I also just had, I didn't even mention this. This is why this is hard for me. I used to like vlog everything I ate. I had two oranges right now. They're small oranges, but they're not cuties. That was after my run. Now I'm gonna make breakfast. I have two eggs sunny side up on corn tortillas, and that is hot salsa. It's just a jar of salsa, the thick and chunky hot version, and half of an avocado. It's a large avocado too. On top, I have the everything but the bagel seasoning, and I'm going to end up putting both of these on top of this when I eat it. I'm about to make lunch, but before I do, I wanted to tell you about some of the beverages that I enjoy every day. I drink a lot. I have the water, I have iced coffee, sometimes I have hot coffee, I have hot tea, and I have a lot of flavored beverages in my day as well. I have this whole bag, I never wanna run out, so I have a huge supply at all times. When it starts to get low, I order more. 
noon tablets I use, um, some vitamin flavored, um, the eco drink I love, true lemon. There's a true lemon that is more sweetened. They're just like so many, a probiotic drink mix, just because why not? I just, if it, I'm mainly doing this because I take supplements. I'm mainly doing this because it tastes good and it's fun and yeah. So I always have that around as well. Now for lunch, most of the time it is a massive salad, like a mixing bowl, everything I can get in their salad. I'm a volume eater. I think that it's very satisfying. I really, really enjoy it. It's yeah, if I don't have a massive salad for lunch, I want one for dinner. So what's in it? Yo, um, power greens. Sometimes I'll just use romaine. I have this. So I, yeah, sometimes I'll get a ton of hearts of romaine and just chop those up. Um, this power greens has baby chard, kale and spinach. And I also, I really like arugula. I have this big thing of arugula that I'm throwing in there right now. For other veggies, I usually, when I am making lunch, having lunch, I don't wanna stop and chop a bunch of things. So I am trying to make it as convenient as possible. I have this, this is from Trader Joe's, Healthy Eight Chopped Veggie Mix. So it's like the veggies are so finely chopped, like a chopped salad, love. And in this is broccoli, carrots, green cabbage, red cabbage, jicama, green bell pepper, radish, celery. And so it's just a hack to find a way to get fairly low cost chopped veggies. And these are very finely chopped. My second hack is I put sometimes a paper towel in with veggies when it seems like they're gonna go bad quickly. You can sometimes tell that they are just a little more soggy-ish. I'm avoiding using the M word. Um, and I'll do this, I'll put it sometimes too in the big bag of um, greens. So chopped veggies, when these are in season, organic sugar plum tomatoes, when these are in season, they're amazing. Boom. So those are the veggies I put on the salad as the base. And then most of the time I'll put some protein on there um, and sometimes beans, but I don't have that today. Simply roast chicken. I love this. I don't know why I like actually feel like sometimes I crave this or just like chicken breast. Like when I'm doing meal prep, I will get a chicken breast and slice it similar to this, but this is super simple. Um, I'll heat this up, put that on there as well. And then I will sometimes just snack on this too. I'm really into right now honey mustard. I go through kicks where I'm like obsessed with something and I will eat it every day for six months. That's one of those things. This salad dressing is the best. Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. It's 45 calories per serving. I feel like there are other low calorie ranch dressings out there that just sometimes have a weird aftertaste. They're just not as good. This is good. This is a good one. You don't feel like you are having a like low cal diet, whatever it is, salad dressing. So I always have this. I use this when I get pizza. If you wanna like dip your crust in pizza. I mean, yeah. It's not gonna fool like my brothers, but we're not trying to like fool anyone. We're just trying to make healthier choices, right? I also got this, I um, actually got this from the 99 cent store. I like a dressing option as well that's like a vinaigrette, especially if I am loading up a salad with a ton of veggies and potentially protein or beans and those individual items aren't cooked with a ton of sauce, flavor, salt, seasoning, whatever it is, most of the stuff that I'm putting on is straight up plain. So, um, I will combine dressings to make the flavors more complex and I just like love it. So I, I sometimes like one that's a little more of a vinaigrette cause it's, since it's thinner consistency, it'll help mix everything together. So I will usually actually do two of both or, and um, coconut aminos I add on there too. And then sriracha, whatever seasoning this, 
can be high in sodium, but because I am so epically hydrated, I don't worry about salt or sodium on any level. And I'm a very salty sweater. I think it works. It's, this is just my, what I ate in a day. So not that it might be the best thing for you, but this is what I eat. So I'm gonna throw all of this together and I will show you the finished product. I wanna show you the final product because I think it is so pretty, but it's also, I wanna give you some perspective that this is a really massive salad and it's amazing. It's one of my favorite things. I'm a volume eater. If I don't eat a lot, I stay hungry. So I think that this is an awesome other hack really to use where make the base of your meal a ton of veggies, your favorite veggies that you really enjoy. And I feel like it's so filling and satisfying. Obviously it's a bonus of getting all of the nutrients from the vegetables, but yeah, this is lunch. One of my snacks today is yogurt and granola. I have been trying to be mindful of having calcium rich foods since I broke my foot. It's so important. So I've been snacking on a lot of yogurt, also string cheese a ton lately. And I just love granola. I love popcorn. I really always have. I remember as a kid going to Target and my mom getting popcorn and it being like the best thing. Are you guys going to help with dinner? You going to help making dinner? Okay, let's see what we got. So tonight I am going to be making a stir fry. This is probably the most typical thing that I make. My favorite thing in the world. I love an Asian blend frozen veggie. Love that. And today I'm using these chickenless mandarin orange morsels from Trader Joe's. They are very good. This is vegetarian. Ooh, it's actually vegan. Normally, because I have hypothyroidism, I avoid super processed soy products. And if I am having it, I try to stick to fermented soy products. But this tastes so good. I enjoy it. And I like that it's a one serving size situation. Otherwise, I would just eat the whole package. They also have orange chicken. But again, I eat the whole package. Making it with some brown rice. I'm going to snack on these because I'm hungry. And I'll throw some of these on top. Chickenless chicken. I forget what the official name is. I'm going to add some sriracha on this. I put sriracha on everything. And I actually put coconut aminos on everything too. Now for the moment I've been waiting for dessert. And I always have dark chocolate around. I have to, it's, I can't live without it. This isn't obviously super fancy dark chocolate. This is optional, shareable. I'm not gonna share this. You know what I will do? I'm gonna share a tip with you because Hershey's Kisses has the best serving size situation Seven pieces is one serving. And obviously when it comes to chocolate, you can have two servings because it's just important. Look at this too. I want to make this little thing. But I have some sort of dessert with my tea. Let's see what the tea message is for today. It is when you become part of the universe, the universe becomes part of you. Amen. So I have some, this is a Yogi bedtime tea. It has valerian root, helps to wind down. Don't, I'm not a doctor. I don't do anything that I say, except for obviously get chocolate. Definitely do that. What was the best thing that you ate today? 